welcome back to our new video that is mcqs on biochemistry and this is the part four of this series of videos on biochemistry okay and the first question of this video is what do you mean by ampholytes and the options are neutral device option b non-ionic buffer option c ionic buffer or option d zwitter buffer and the right answer is the option c that is ionic buffer so ampholyte means ionic buffers okay so let's move on to the next question that is the rate limiting reaction in cholesterol biosynthesis is catalyzed by option a hmg coa reductase hmg coa synthase or acetoacetate synthase or uh, sequelin synthase and the right answer is option a that is hmg coa reductase so the rate limiting reaction in cholesterol biosynthesis is catalyzed by hmg coa reductase okay so let's move on to the next question that is the potent allosteric activator of animal phosphofructokinase is option a fructose option b fructose 2 6 bisphosphate option c fructose 1 6 bisphosphate or option d that is pyruvate and the right answer is option b that is fructose 2 6 bisphosphate so the potent allosteric activator of animal phosphofructokinase is fructose 2 6 bisphosphate Chaliye, next question dekhte hai. next question hai. nucleosides are nitrogenous base option a with one molecule of deoxyribose and one molecule of phosphate group or without a molecule of deoxyribose or with one molecule of phosphate group or with a molecule of deoxyribose only and the right answer about the nucleoside is option d that is with a molecule of deoxyribose only so nucleosides are nitrogenous base with a deoxyribose sugar okay so let's move on to the question number 65 so 65 is if the sequence of nitrogenous base of one chain of dna molecule is thymine cytosine adenine cytosine guanine the other chain will have the base base sequence as guanine cytosine thymine adenine guanine or cytosine adenine guanine thymine guanine or adenine cytosine guanine thymine guanine or adenine guanine thymine guanine cytosine so at first we have to see the first amino acid is sorry first uh, nucleotide is thymine so its complementary is adenine so it can be option c or option d so we have to check the next one that is next one is the cytosine so complementary base of cytosine is guanine so this one is the option so option d will be correct so here we can see the option d is the correct so the option is adenine guanine thymine guanine cytosine will be the complementary base of this one okay so let's move on to the next question that is question number 66 so the main function of the pentose phosphate pathway is to option a supply ribose 5 phosphate and nad NADPH or option B supply NADH and ATP or option C provide a mechanism to use the carbon skeleton of excess amino acids or option D that is provide carbon skeletons for oxidation of fatty acids and the right answer is option A that is supply of 5 phosphate so supply of ribose 5 phosphate and NADPH. So the main function of the pentose phosphate pathway is to supply ribose 5 phosphate and NADPH. Okay, so next question mein jayenge. Next question hai. Membrane proteins are option A symmetrically placed or option B asymmetrically placed, option C aligned diagonally or option D arranged in a zigzag manner. And the right one is option B that is asymmetrically placed. So membrane proteins are asymmetrically placed okay so next question here the hereditary material present in the 
बैक्टीरियम एस्टिशिया कोलाई इज ऑप्शन ए सिंगल स्टैंडर्ड डीएनए ऑप्शन बी डबल स्टैंडर्ड डीएनए ऑप्शन सी आरएनए ऑप्शन डी प्रोटीन एंड द राइट वन इज ऑप्शन बी दैट इज डबल स्टैंडर्ड डीएनए सो द हेरिडिटरी मटेरियल प्रेजेंट इन द बैक्टीरियम इकोलाई इज डबल स्टैंडर्ड डीएनए और डीएसडीएनए सो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज क्वेश्चन नंबर 69 so if 30% of an organism's dna is thymine then option a 70% is purine 20% is guanine 30% is adenine or option d both b and c are correct so if 30% is thymine then the 30% will be guanine sorry 30% is thymine so 30% also will be guanine so option c should be correct and also we have to check this if 30% is thymine and 30% is adenine then uh, the remaining is 40% so 40% will be guanine and 40% uh, 40 uh, 20% will be guanine and 20% will be cytosine here we can see t is given that 30% and so adenine will be also 30% because they are complementary so both are total or total 60% so remaining is our 40% so 40% will be our cytosine and guanine all total so cytosine will be 20% and guanine will be 20% so all they make up the 40% okay so here we can see both b and c will be correct so option d is the correct one okay so if 30% of an organism's dna is thymine then both b and c is the correct one that means 20% will be guanine and 30% is adenine okay so let's move on to the question number 70 so which ratio is constant for dna so option a that is a plus g and t plus c that means adenine plus guanine and thymine plus cytosine or option b that is adenine plus thymine and guanine plus cytosine or option c adenine plus cytosine or uracil plus guanine or adenine plus uracil and guanine plus cytosine and the right answer is option b that is adenine and thymine and guanine and cytosine so this is the correct ratio so let's move on to the question number 71 so the doubled helix model of dna resembles a twisted ladder in which the rungs or stages of the ladders are a purine paired with a pyrimidine or option b a paired with a sorry adenine paired with uh, guanine and cytosine paired with thymine or option c sugar phosphate paired with sugar phosphate or both a and b are correct so the right answer is option a that is adenine uh, sorry a purine paired with a pyrimidine so like this adenine paired with thymine that is a purine bind with the pyrimidine and cytosine bind with guanine okay so in both cases in each ladder of the twisted dna helix a purine paired with a pyrimidine okay so let's move on to the next question that is question number 72 so what is true of watson and crick's model of dna it is duplexed with option a 10 base pairs and 34 angstrom distance for every turn or option b 20 base pair and 34 angstrom for each turn or 10 base pairs and 3.4 angstrom distance for each turn of spiral or option d that is none of the above and the right answer is option a that is 10 base pair and 34 angstrom distance for every turn okay so this is the right answer so let's move on to the next question that is question number 20 sorry 73 the polarity of water molecule is due to its tetrahedral structure or option b bonding electrons being attracted more to oxygen 
और ऑप्शन सी बॉन्डिंग इलेक्ट्रॉन्स बीइंग अट्रैक्टेड मोर टू हाइड्रोजन और ऑप्शन डी इट्स वीक इलेक्ट्रोलाइटिक प्रॉपर्टी एंड द राइट आंसर अबाउट द पोलैरिटी ऑफ वाटर मॉलिक्यूल इज ऑप्शन बी दैट इज बॉन्डिंग इलेक्ट्रॉन्स बीइंग अट्रैक्टेड मोर टू ऑक्सीजन ओके सो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन देखेंगे सो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग मेथड कैन डिटेक्ट पोस्ट ट्रांसलेशनल मॉडिफिकेशन ऑफ एमिनो एसिड्स एंड द ऑप्शंस आर डीएनए सीक्वेंसिंग एडवांस सीक्वेंसिंग बोथ ए एंड बी नाइदर ए नॉट बी एंड द राइट वन इज ऑप्शन बी दैट इज एडवांस सीक्वेंसिंग सो एडवांस सीक्वेंसिंग व्हिच इज अ मेथड कैन डिटेक्ट पोस्ट ट्रांसलेशनल मॉडिफिकेशन ऑफ एमिनो एसिड्स सो लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द क्वेश्चन नंबर 75 so oligosaccharides and polysaccharides are option a same option b different altogether option c slightly different option d differ in chain length and the right answer is the option d that is differ in chain length okay so let's move on to the next that is first genome sequence of the organism in year 1995 is option a Escherichia coli option B Haemophilus influenzae option C Methanosarcina or option D Mycobacterium tuberculosis and the right answer is option B that is Haemophilus influenzae so the first genome sequence of the organism in the year 1995 is Haemophilus influenzae so next question here question number 77 is arrange the three residues glycine phenyl alanine and proline in the decreasing order of backbone flexibility so the options are glycine then phenyl alanine then proline or option b proline then glycine then phenyl alanine or option c phenyl alanine then proline then glycine or option d it is not possible to comment so the right answer is option a that is glycine then phenyl alanine then proline okay so let's move on to the next question that is question number 78 the number of different isomers of a pentose sugar that is a saccharide are option a 4 option b 8 option c 16 or option d 32 so the number of different isomers of a pentose sugar are option b that is 8 okay so next question here which of the following statements concerning the edman degradation method is incorrect and option a is phenyl isothiocyanate is coupled to the amino terminal residue or option b under mildly acidic conditions the modified peptide is cleaved into a cyclic derivative of the terminal amino acids and a shortened peptide minus the fast amino acid and the option c is once the pth amino acid is separated from the original peptide a new cycle of sequential degradation can begin or option d phenyl isothiocyanate is coupled to the carboxy terminal residue and the right answer is option d that is phenyl isothiocyanate is coupled to the carboxy terminal residue so this is the incorrect uh, statement about the edman degradation method okay so the last question of this video is energy minimization can be employed as a technique for option a studying receptor binding kinetics option b optimizing molecular geometry option c converting a straight chain of a polypeptide to its tertiary structure or option d decreasing the size of a molecule so the right answer is option b that is optimizing molecular geometry so energy minimization can be employed as a technique for optimizing molecular geometry okay so these are all 20 questions on biochemistry on this part 4 okay so thank you for watching this video